This special presentation is provided to the public by Amun Ra University. It is read and voiced by Shakim Ra. Secrets from the Tombs The Pyramid Texts of Pepe I are among the oldest religious texts in the world. For millennium, they lied undetected, undiscovered, and undeciphered, perhaps forever lost in translation, but with time, the essence of these ancient writings becomes clearer in the lens of their historical, scientific, and biological contexts. In this particular lesson, we will explore and travel to the Pyramid of Pepe I, read and decipher the Medunetra inscriptions and provide the viewer with an interpretation that aligns with modern science. Long dismissed by mainstream Egyptologists as unintelligible and incoherent, the pyramid texts contain a cornucopia of spiritual transformation science and profound knowledge of self, astronomy, quantum physics, and bacterial genetics. Let us explore the afterlife journey of the great immortal ruler of Sirius and the eastern sky, Pepe the First. Who was Pepe the First? Pepe the First was an ancient Kemetic pharaoh, the third king of the sixth dynasty of ancient Kemet, who ruled for over 40 years at the turn of the 24th and 23rd centuries BC toward the end of the Old Kingdom period. He was the son of Teti, the founder of the dynasty, and ascended the throne only after the brief intervening reign of the shadowy Usur Kare. His mother was Iput, who may have been a daughter of Unaz, the final ruler of the preceding Feb dynasty. Mer in Ra Nemtayim Safta I, with whom he may have shared power in a co regency at the very end of his reign. Pepi II Neferka Ra who might have also been Pepe's son, succeeded Baron Ray. Several difficulties accumulated during Pepe's reign, beginning with the possible murderer of his father in the ensuing reign of Usur Kara. Later, probably after his 20th year of reign, Pepe faced a harem conspiracy hatched by one of his consorts who may have tried to have her son designated heir to the throne, and possibly another conspiracy involving his vizier at the end of his reign. Confronted with the protracted decline of pharaonic power and the emergence of dynasties of local officials, Pepe reacted with a vast architectural program involving the construction of temples dedicated to local gods, Necheru, and numerous chapels for his own cult throughout Kemet, reinforcing his presence in the provinces. Kemet's prosperity allowed Pepe to become the most prolific builder of the Old Kingdom. The Pyramid of Pepe I in ancient Egyptian Medunetcher, Minnefer Pepe, meaning Pepe's splendor is enduring, is the pyramid complex built for the Egyptian pharaoh Pepe I of the Sixth Dynasty. The complex gave its name to the capital city of Kemet, Memphis or Thebes. As in the pyramids of his predecessors, Pepe I's substructure was filled with 
vertical columns of hieroglyphic text, also referred to as the pyramid text. It was in Pepe the first pyramid and these texts were initially discovered in 1880 by Gaston Maspero, though they originated in the Pyramid of Unas. The Corpus of Pepe the first text is also the largest from the Old Kingdom, comprising 2,263 columns and lines of Medunetra. Pepe the first sited his pyramid complex in South Saqqara, an approximate 1.5 miles north of Jedkare Assessi's pyramid. It is unclear why Pepe the first relocated to South Saqqara. The pyramid and substructure replicated the basic design of Jedkare Assessi's and is proportionally very similar. The pyramid has been extensively damaged and now stands as a small, ruinous mound. The mortuary temple has also seen extensive damage from stone thieves, but the work carried out by the Mission Archaeologique Francesie de Saqqara, MAFS, has revealed that the temple is laid out in nearly the exact same manner as those of his predecessors. Excavation work at the causeway has only extended out to a few meters and the Valley Temple and Pyramid Town remain unexcavated. The most significant finds at the complex are the Queen's Pyramids. As of 2017, a total of nine pyramids have been discovered southwest of Pepe the First's complex. These pyramids belong to Nebunut, Inanek Enti, Meretites IV, Ankesen Pepe the Second, and Ankesen Pepe the Third, Meha, with a tomb belonging to her son, Hornedarakeret. Ra Harry Chef Nakat N1, the Western Pyramid, remains anonymous. The pyramids of Queens, Ankhesen Pepe II and Behenu contain pyramid text. The pyramid of Ra Harry Chef Nakat contain both pyramid text and coffin text. This find is significant for two reasons. The first is that it is the oldest known pyramid not built for a member of the royal family. The second is that its epigraphy represents a link between the Old and Middle Kingdoms. Pepe II selected a site about 1.5 miles or 2.4 kilometers north of Jedkare's Pyramid in South Saqqara. Mark Leonard suggests that siting the pyramid in North or Central Saqqara may not have been possible after Teddy built his pyramid there, and that this may be the reason for Pepe the first choice to move to South Saqqara. The pyramid was first examined by John Shapering in the 1830s. In 1880, Gaston Maspero, director of the French Institute for Oriental Archaeology in Cairo, arrived in Egypt. He selected a site in South Saqqara, a mound that had been previously mapped by Carl Richard Lepsius for his first archaeological dig. Here he found the ruins of a large structure which he identified as the Pyramid of Pepe I. During the excavations, he was able to gain access to the substructure where he discovered that the walls were covered in hieroglyphic text, the pyramid text. This was the first pyramid in which texts were found. Maspero also found texts in the pyramids of Unaz, Teti, Marin Ra I, and 
Pepe II in 1880. He published his findings in Les Inscriptions de Pyramides de Saqqara in 1894. In 1966, the burial chamber and passageway of the substructure in Pepe the First Pyramid were unearthed. It was revealed that the texts in Pepe the First Pyramid were engraved and painted in a shade of green, referred to by ancient Egyptians as wash, that symbolized renewal and germination. Old Kingdom Mortuary Complexes consisted of five essential components. A valley temple, a causeway, a pyramid or mortuary temple, a pyramid or mortuary temple, a cult or satellite pyramid, and five, the main pyramid. Pepe the First complex comprises a main pyramid constructed of six steps of limestone encased in fine white limestone, a mortuary temple that near exactly replicates those of his predecessors with a cult pyramid to its south, and a valley temple and causeway that have not been excavated. The pyramid is now destroyed in original dimensions are estimates. The length of the base of the pyramid was 78.75 meters or 258 feet, converging towards the apex at 53 degrees, giving the pyramid a peak of 52.5 meters or 172 feet. Barring the lower section of the western end of the chamber, which is painted in the Royal Palace Facade motif. All four walls of Pepe the First burial chamber were covered in pyramid texts. The west wall and gavel of Pepe the First burial chamber were inscribed with texts concerning two things. The first present Heru in the role of head liturgist, and the second involved the presentation of Osiris' corpse to his mother Newt. These texts are Saku, meaning that which makes one into an Ak, and serve the protection, reconstitution, and transfiguration of the king in his sarcophagus. They are flanked predominantly on the west end of the north wall, but also by two texts in a small register on the west end of the south wall. By text concerned with the role of Osiris' sisters, Aset and Nebahet. On the west end of the south wall, beneath the text of Aset and Nebahet, are a set of texts dealing with the theme of the king's ascent to the sky. The remainder of the north wall of the burial chamber is composed of the offering and insignia rituals. Unique. To Pepe First Pyramid, the two rituals are clearly delineated in separate registers. The remainder of the south wall of the burial chamber is inscribed with the resurrection ritual. These deal with the king's relationship with the gods and his departure from his tomb. The west and south walls of the antechamber are inscribed with texts whose core theme revolves around the transition from the human to the celestial realm. The north wall contains two groups of texts, those concerning the king's ascent to the sky, which don't otherwise appear in the antechamber of other pyramids, and those concerned with the king's transformation into Haru. Was the pharaoh inserted into a pyramid or a phage head? The pyramid texts state that the deceased crosses over the skies read close to Ra, pyramid text 606. 
This is also described as the king opens the face of the god, Pyramid Text 271. The deceased states that he has flown up and landed on the vertex of Ra in the prow of his bark, Theban Recension 66. The vertex of Ra, the vertex of the Ennead, along with language such as on my vertex, Coffin Text 95, suggest the vertices of an icosahedron, a phage conformation which has 20 equilateral triangles arranged around the face of a spear. Most viruses fit 60 times N subunits into their capsids or heads with N being the triangulation number having values of 1, 3, 4, 7, 9, 12, and so on. An icosahedral virus with 60 subunits exhibits perfect symmetry. It is also interesting that the mathematical system of the Babylonians appears to be based on the number 60. Along with vertex references, the pyramid and coffin text mention the mistress and lord of faces, and the deceased states that he is centipede faced. Coffin text 239. While on Ra's vertex, the deceased sees the spirits of the West whose faces turn round on account of their colors. Also, the golden collar or finishing touch to the front, which is on the neck of Ra, point to phage morphology and assembly. In addition, other resurrection references suggest the formation of a plaque which is a cleared area on a bacterial lawn caused by infection from a lactic bacterial phage. The allusions to the clear sky in the king becoming a star, Pyramid Text 302, the king going to the sky in an earthquake and bursting the hailstorm apart, the king dispelling the clouds, Pyramid Text 570, the king uncovering the skies and dispersing the clouds. Coffin text 993. All these references indicate the formation of a cleared area. Also, the reborn king ascends on a cloud as the earth quakes, which signifies the eruption of phage progeny. For he has ascended in the body of a locust among these children of the hornet. Pyramid Text 627 The king states, I have reached the sky as a locust which hides the sun. The profile of a pyramid and its causeway also reveals the morphology of phage lambda, which has an icosahedral head enclosed in a spear. The Egyptian pyramid with its triangular faces is similar to a phage capsid or head, and the causeway from the pyramid completes the comparison by depicting the phage tail. The essence of the dead king resided within the pyramid so that it endured forever.